If you'll join me for the opening prayer and pledge. Lord, we are meeting today to conduct matters of business. Got our hearts and our minds in the spirit of fairness, right thought, and speech. Impart your supreme wisdom upon our activities so that our affairs may reach a successful conclusion. Thank you for being our source of guidance today. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we will go to the approval of the agenda. One quick note, uh, it still has, my name is Vice Chairman and Mr. Anderson's as for Secretary and we are now flipped. Any additional? Entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, citizens comments. Thank you, sir. Approve the minutes from the January 14, 2020 Planning Commission meeting. Motion to approve. Second. First and a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? New, no new business tonight. We'll move into bonds and letters of credits. Item one, Cumberland Estates irrevocable standby letter of credit in the amount of 400,000 will expire March 28, 2020. Staff comments, based on the site visit and estimated completion of phase one, Cumberland states per the approved plans, staff recommends a letter of credit reduction to 151,000. Just a note on that, uh, developer did bring the original amount tonight to cover up until uh, this renewal, if it is up to the board to, to do so. Thank you, sir. This for the entire project or just phase one? This is just phase one. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Thank you. This is the project that had some weird runoff where some ponds were flipped or something like that and that's been resolved in this phase? As far as I know, everything has been resolved on that. I know that there's some cleanup to be done on some of the ponds, uh, but I believe all of the engineering issues from early on were taken care of. I make a motion to reduce the <clears throat> da, 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 da. the letter of credit to $151,000 per the staff comments. Second. Second. Burks, Jenkins, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Item two, Willow Crest. Reclamation bond in the amount of 140,000 will expire March 10th, 2020. Staff comments, developer maintains a continuous bond on this project. Staff recommends to renew at the current bond amount. I make a motion to renew a reclamation bond of $140,000 per the staff comments. Second. Burke's blade. Any additional discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Reports for discussion and information. I think it's uh, usually have a nice little step down. It's removed tonight, but Mr. Sullivan with the planning staff. Yeah, we took that off so that it was just on one page and you didn't have uh, like three words <laughs> on the other, sorry. Fair enough. <laughs> on the other agendas it says it. Uh, couple things. One, thank you all for training session. I do hope to do a couple more of those uh, around different things to, to look for and look at. So thank you all for all being here and great discussion on that. Um, from last month's discussions, a uh, couple things were mentioned. I know some street things were uh, with uh, street cuts and kind of street maintenance. Uh, we are looking into that uh, we do have some new regs on that that we're trying to get put together uh, for just street standards overall, and that will be moving forward as well as any maintenance that has to go on or any cuts that are made. Uh, so we've got that. And then the other uh, thing we had talked about 
uh, overhead utilities and what we wanted to see with that. Um, for changes to subregs or the zoning regs, if y'all have anything, excuse me, as a group or individually that you would like to see changed, <clears throat> uh, if y'all will shoot me an email, kind of an idea of what you're wanting, I will bring that forth, put it as a discussion item for the next planning commission meeting, and that's next month or any time. Uh, I think that with the planning commission we have right now with some of the discussions that I've seen us have, especially tonight and uh, some other nights as well, that changes are, are good, but the discussions for those changes, I think, are well-rounded and bring a lot of information. So if, if there's anything that y'all know of that you'd like to see changed in our regs, shoot me an email, what you want to discuss it on, uh, and we can have information on our side, but also some wording uh, ready for you to, to look at on, on anything. And then as a board, you can make good discussion, talk about it, throw stuff at us, whatever you want to do uh, with that. But then uh, we can put that <coughs> forth as a vote either then or following meeting and then take it from there to BOC. If it's a zoning reg or if it's a sub reg, it would stay here at this board and then go into sub regs. Other than that, I think that's all I've got tonight. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Mr. Potter. Mr. Blayburn. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, one of the things that I've been working on is, as you know, is the uh, zoning map. So I'm taking the uh, the map that we had hanging on the wall, and I've sent, hence convert, converted that into a GIS system online, and now going through all the resolutions, all the ordinances to get the properties all um, corrected. And beyond that, I'm loading in uh, the information from the comprehensive plan, showing the land use, which is going to be helpful, and and looking at things from make make it much easier to make decisions. Uh, beyond that, in the next couple months, Mike and I are kind of working on doing some roadway assessments and almost like a major thoroughfare plan where we're looking at um, existing roadways that need improvements, new roadways that are coming online, and ones that would help alleviate congestion uh, on our major routes. So that's something to look forward to in the next few months. Thank you, sir. Communication from the Planning Commission members, Commissioner Birch. Uh, just thank you for the training session tonight. Really appreciate you uh, putting the time in to do that for us. Um, that's all I have. Thank you. <coughs> Ms. Hulist? Nothing for me tonight. Power? Uh, one time several months ago, <coughs> there was talk about a rainwater runoff, stormwater kind of a plan, and I just haven't heard about it in a long time. And you can don't have to answer right now it wasn't a question it was just a general inquiry it's in the works it is something that is going to take a lot of time putting together um, but a lot of foundation to make it go once we have it there uh, we are working on that from several different aspects and once they all head each other off it's going to be where we're ready to really go with it um, one thing that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. We are really close to 10,000 people, and this year's census is going to show us where we really are. Uh, once we hit 10,000, we don't have a choice but to have that program. So we're wanting to have it ready that even if we're just right behind that number, that we can go ahead with it. But it is something that is in the process uh, a little bit slower than I was hoping for, but we are working on that right now. Thank you, sir. Mr. Jenkins? Nothing, sir. Thank you, sir. Mr. Kelly? Nothing, thank you. Mayor Bleed? Nothing, sir. Thank you. Mr. Anderson? Nothing, thank you for the training session. Mr. Anderson, you have anything on uh, sewer side? Uh, kind of. We, uh, Mr. Micah, uh, joined me uh, last night. Uh, one of the things, uh, one of the things that uh, 
we listened through the whole meeting and uh, uh, they're very uh, frugal in their finances and very efficient in their operation of their uh, water and sewer company. Uh, but uh, one of the things that I brought up that they did not this time was the fact that uh, the federal government has uh, uh, loosened up, I'll use that as a phrase, uh, some stormwater and uh, uh, runoff water regulations that have been imposed for a long time and superimposed during the previous administration. And uh, the city, the state has not issued a sewer permit or sewer treatment plant permit in over 10 years. Uh, they've got their sales pretty much at the gate and working with the state trying to get uh, their application in place, but I identified to them, they should have already known, I think they may have, uh, that they've got about less than 10 months to a possible uh, regime change or, or political party change in the federal government that could prevent Fairview from getting a sewer plant the next eight or 10 years. If they don't take the opportunity for this next eight or nine month window and get their permit and get started, uh, we could be dead in the water. And uh, I brought that up. I did it as polite as I could. Uh, but uh, to me, it's a live or die thing for Fairview. Uh, they act like it's important for them, and it could very well be and should be. But anyway, I still think that uh, Fairview needs to be more than just sitting there listening. We need to be standing there asking and wanting to know where they're at every month until we get a permit or get a turn down. But because if everything goes one way, we got another four years to get this thing in and get a good one. If it goes the other way, we're shut down because the people that are wanting to take over in the next administration, if it changes, do not want this stuff. They're environmentalists. And that's all I have to say. Thank you, sir. All right. Just a uh, quick thank you for putting together our workshop tonight and a quick kudos to the, the staff that wear several hats and you can kind of hear the strides that we're making as far as we finish a comprehensive plan. We're starting to have a vision. When a developer wants, comes here, we're going to be able to say, here's your zoning, here's our vision, here's where we want to go, here's our regulations. And to be such short-staffed and making such great strides just show how hard y'all are working and, and doing great things. And it's probably cleaner and really starting to make more progress than I've seen in my time being here. So thank you guys for all your continued efforts. And I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. So moved.